guys welcome back to my channel and to another video and this video is one that I cannot wait to share with you so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the makeover that has taken place on our patio and decking area some huge huge changes I have painted everything inside Peter has built a pergola he is outside right now doing like little finishing touches to it so you can probably hear a bit of noise in the background I'm sorry if you can we have got new furniture I am just so happy with it we've done it all ourselves and we've done it on a very wet awful week so i yeah i can't wait to share it with you so for this video i thought i would share a little haul that i have done from donnell mill some nice decorations for the outside then i thought i would show you the process like how it looked before and just things that we've done along the way and then show you the end result so go grab yourself a nice drink maybe a couple of snacks and we will get straight into the video this video is in collaboration with top cashback which is so so exciting i am completely converted to using top cashback for any shopping that I do now online. If you don't know what Top Cashback is, I am gonna go into a bit of detail about it. It's definitely something that you are gonna to wanna to use. Like if you do any shopping online, then you are definitely gonna to want to use Top Cashback. And even better, I actually have a link down below that if you are new to Top Cashback and you sign up as a new customer and spend 15 pounds, they will give you 15 pound back just for, just for free, free money. You're essentially, you spend £15, you're going to get it back. So, yeah, definitely worth doing. So, if you are not familiar with Top Cashback, then basically what they are is a site that helps you save money as you spend. So, they have over 5,000 retailers on their site. So, places like Donnell Mill, eBay, B&Q, Boohoo, so everything from clothing to uh, insurance, food, DIY, holidays, like just so many different, like 5,000 different retailers. So whatever you are shopping for online, you can save money through Top Cashback if you buy it through them. And honestly, it could not be easier to use. It makes no difference to your shopping experience. I will show you what I do as I go along. I'll show a screen grab as I'm doing it on my phone. So I go on the app because that's just, I find that really easy to just have the app on my phone. So as you can see on the app, it just tells you at the top of the money that you have pending and confirmed. You can go through all different categories for things that you are shopping for. So we've obviously got all sorts of stuff here. And all you do is say I wanted to buy something from ASOS. I would click on ASOS, have a little look at all the offers that they have got. So they've got different things for like new customers, existing customers, if you buy from Clinique. And you just literally click get cash back and it just says just shop as normal and we will take care of the rest so it just takes you through to the site and you shop as normal popping things in your basket just like you normally would do and check out and then once you have made your purchase through that site then when you go back on top cash back you will have your money pending that you have made from your purchases that you would be buying anyway and then you can either have the money straight into your bank you could have it through paypal or you can have it on a gift card and there is like up to 20 percent um bonuses available depending on which gift card you go for so yeah there's loads of different ways you can have the money what i really love about them as well is that there is no minimum payout you know like with some of these things you have to wait until you meet a certain threshold like say you've got to wait till till it reaches 20 pound before you can get the money in your bank with this you don't have to wait at all it will pay out into your bank no matter what the amount there's no gimmicks there's no tricks it's just literally getting money back for doing the shopping that you would normally do so i have bought all my things from dunnell mill and i've made money back from that i have bought things from studio i've got a great big gorgeous outdoor chair that i want to show you um that again I have made money back from just from using top cashback so another good thing is they have the best cashback rates that there are so if you find any better rates then they will beat it so you are guaranteed to get the most cashback through top cashback <laughs> it is so quick and easy there is loads of well-known sites i mean five thousand different sites on there like not ones that you would just not shop at ones that people shop at every single day even if you're looking for an insurance quote go through top cashback I am really annoyed that I haven't been doing this sooner um, and like I say new customers you can get £15 cash back if you spend £15 on the site so 
go and get yourself a nice new outfit go grab yourself a new top and you can get it for free so all the details will be below for that link so just follow that link through and yeah you can get yourself some money back but yeah like i say i've been buying a lot of decorations for the outside because the pergola has got a roof on it it means to me that I can decorate it a lot more, the decking area, and I can have lots of beautiful things out that aren't gonna get completely ruined when it rains. So I have been on the lookout, as always, for lots of nice homeware bits, and I've got a lot to show you that I've already got outside, some that I've featured in hauls before, and now things that are already in situ, but I have just got some last minute little decorations from Donnell Mill, a shop that I absolutely love, so I will go through them now. So I got a couple of these. Now I just love these. Peter's always like, what are these? Why do we have these fake balls around the garden? But I really like them. I've got the lavender ones from Home Bargains, but I just really like this one with the white. Obviously, yes, they're artificial. I just think they're a nice decoration. I think they make a nice little feature just hung up on the fence. Might put it on the side of the shed. I'll double check the prices of everything because you know me, I'm so prepared and don't have them near me. Just bear with me a second. Oh good, they do have the prices on the invoice because sometimes they don't, which is always a pain. That was £12 for that. That is the white topiary ball. So I've got two of those. I also got this gorgeous, gorgeous basket. I mean, this will go outside sometimes, I think. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it outside all the time because of the fabric and it probably, you know, it will still get damp. But I did think it'd be quite nice to have like a basket with throws in out there. This was £12 for this one. And it is in this like macrame pattern i really like macrame things i like the um plant pot hangers that you can get and yeah i just thought this was really nice so it can obviously come inside when the weather's bad but i thought it'd be quite nice out there just with nice few throws under it you'll see where what i mean when i put it outside but yeah this was uh it's handcrafted as well but yeah 12 pound for one of them i also got some of these placemats now the reason that i got these to be honest, the price swayed me for these. There were really nice placemats out on the website, but these were cheaper. And yeah, I wanted to get something that wasn't going to cost the earth. Um, so I got some black round ones, just this woven fabric. They were £4 for four, I think. £4.25. So I got two packs of them. So they can obviously go on the outside table with all my nice new outdoor bamboo items that I got from B&M. I also got some basket plant pots. So these were a pack of three for £10. So I thought obviously to put some plants in, there's a smaller one in there as well. Can I manage to show you each of them? So yeah, three different sizes. I just thought that would look really nice. Just sat on the floor of the decking as well. And again, they'd be great for inside. So three for 10 pound, I didn't think that was too bad either. I think Dunelm are quite reasonably priced with a lot of their things. It's got the lining as well. So obviously you're okay to pop your plant pots in them. I got another one of these as well. I've got one very similar in the boys room. I just love these little belly baskets. I had to check what it was called because I keep calling them a Buddha basket because I'm thinking of a Buddha belly, but no, a belly basket. It's got the little pom-poms on it. I don't know where I'm going to, what I'm going to store in it. Maybe I'll just put it as a decoration. But the one in the boys' room has got like little bits of, like fiddly bits in, like wires and things. This tends to be what we keep in that. But this was only £3. I don't know what it is. I just think they're so cute. So this might go outdoors or it might stay inside. I'm not 100% yet. I want outside to be as decorated as I decorate inside. Like I want it to feel really welcoming, a really nice cosy space. So the more decorations, the better in my opinion. And then I got this cute little artificial plant pot. This was six pound. It's just got the nice yellow flowers in it. It almost looks like this is made out of stone, but it's it's not, but it, I think it looks from a distance, I think it could look like it's a nice stone pot. And yeah, just another artificial plant that, again, could easily be kept inside when the weather's not great and I could put it in the kitchen window. But yeah, this is going to decorate my little barbecue area, as you will see when I show you it all. But yeah, that was pretty much everything. Just a small Dunelm haul that I have saved money on with top cashback. It's a good argument for all the purchases that turn up for me to say to Peter, well, I've made money back, so... <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. But yeah, these are some things to decorate the outside with. So now I will show you some of the process of us 
doing the garden. It was a bit difficult because sometimes Peter did stuff and I'd be like running out with the camera trying to film it. So I didn't get everything, but I did get a good, you'll get a good general idea of how we've done things and what it was like to start with. So I will show you that now. Okay, so this is the before looking absolutely awful. There was the paddling pool on here. So um, all of this is going to be painted. Peter obviously made this little, I don't even know what it is, um, barbecue area now I think it's going to be. Um, so yeah, barbecue is there, but he just needs to finish off this bit here of the decking. And then yeah, this is going to have a huge transformation. He's also got to finish these bits here, just the, around the border. But yeah, not looking too good. And the weather is awful today, but hopefully it's gonna be a really good transformation once it is all done.
we are with this i hope you can hear me okay with me filming outside i've just ran out whilst the sun has temporarily started shining although the clouds are looking pretty black this is i mean it's not completely finished but it is definitely <laughs> a lot better than it was so i just sort of talk through everything and give you a little tour so the patio i wished i had taken before before pictures of when we moved in because they are just those awful like odd mismatch coloured slabs you know when you get like pink and green ones and we painted it a colour that I was never particularly happy with not long ago it was just like a temporary fix just to see what we thought it'd look like and then obviously when we painted the decking area and everything grey it didn't look right at all as you'll see in the video so I just painted them with a white masonry paint I got stencil off Amazon just typed in patio slab stencils and yeah and used grey masonry paint to go over it it's definitely not perfect I was not too um, precious about it 
but I do think it makes such a difference it is honestly it's just changed the complete patio because Peter wanted to put a new one down and like just cost wise and everything I said let's just see if we can just make these look a little bit better first so I'm so pleased we did that we still need to um finish here but this used to be like an horrible it was a wall and again I wished I'd taken proper pictures but yeah we have put just sleepers all along this parasol above our table that is absolutely huge was from b and q it was i thought it was really inexpensive it was about 150 pound i didn't think it was that bad considering it is massive these table and chairs we've had for years and years and they are from argos and yet we've just had them forever and obviously all of this is from b m which i've shown in a b m haul all of my plates and things i just thought i'd put them out and see how they looked and then my placemats are from donnell mill I've got a few of my flowers here how gorgeous is this i'm just loving having a few flowers and this rug i cannot for the life of me remember where it was from it might have been home bargains or it was our but yeah I've had that for quite a bit now but I do see really similar ones all the time and yeah that's just um, on the patio just before the steps up to the decking which I am just obsessed with I love it so much so Peter obviously did the decking area before we had decking we had like a horrible patch here um, but when we first moved in it was like soil and then we just put some stones down which was just never the best idea we then had like a separate path that went up along under the window it was just a really odd space so we decked over it and that we did that like last year and then obviously this year got round to finishing it and yeah i've just painted it in some cuprinol slate i think the color was i might have to double check that but yeah just a gray anti-decking slip anti-decking anti-slip decking paint i've got my lilies here which are just coming out which i love just got a few lanterns and things about um this little part of the decking is a bit random peter was going to make a bar which is why we've got a bar sign then it turned into the um barbecue area the bar sign was of, of a friend a friend bought it for him this tray home bargains pretty much everything's home bargains that was my um drink dispenser that i got from b&m i've just got some nice pretty decorations about and yeah this is now our little barbecue area the mirror on the wall is from home bargains it actually needs to be hung up a little bit higher but yeah it's just a um, nice decoration the pergola above us i haven't actually said have i obviously this is what peter's been working on and we decided to put a roof on it we weren't 100 percent sure whether we were going to or not but we decided that we would in the end and i'm so glad we did obviously with all this rain and yeah we just hung up the curtains i showed in one of my hauls that we got from amazon which i'm obsessed with love that we decided to put curtains on we just need to weight them down at the bottom a little bit with something but yeah it's obviously a much more usable space now that we've got a roof on top of it so we can sit out here um, in the evenings we've also got the string lights again that i got off amazon just hanging all along they're gorgeous at night time look really really lovely we also have one of these um i've got these obviously from donnell mill that i need to hang up but for now because peter's not here to hang them up for me i've just put them in this which we've got well peter got it is like a drinks cooler so fill it with ice and put your drinks in it in the warmer weather so that is what that is for that was from amazon as well got a few little more pots and decorations that lantern at the back was a bargain it was from b&m and it was slightly marked so peter got some money off it so always worth asking we have got a patio heater that again was from amazon it's really good actually it wasn't crazy expensive and it had really good reviews so that was what we went on and yeah it definitely lets out some heat so yeah i'm pleased we got that and we've also got the projector screen up here which we haven't used properly yet so i'm looking forward to sitting out here and having a film night and um, the sofa i managed to get from argos i was really struggling to get any garden furniture and yeah i managed to get this one from argos so it's called the mini corner sofa it took a little while for it to be delivered but i managed to get one in the end and it has got a little um storage stool there i've obviously I've, I've decorated this like it's a, a, an indoor room i'm not gonna have it like this all the time but i, I enjoyed just um dressing it up and uh seeing how things look so i brought my cushions that are actually from the living room outside but and when it's like if we've got like a nice week of weather i can keep things out here a little bit more but yeah a lot of this can obviously come inside when we're not using the space the throw was either home bargains or b&m which is gorgeous really lovely fabric and just adds a bit of color 
to the sofa. This rug was a bargain from Aldi. Again, I mean, most of this you see, if you watch my hauls, you'll see me featuring a lot of this stuff and this is how I am using it all. That was about 18 pound or something from Aldi. So a real bargain. This gorgeous chair. This was what I bought from studio. This is what I used top cash back for and got money back just for buying it. We actually saw one in B&Q that was around £400 and we didn't want to pay that and this was exactly the same. Actually nicer, I prefer the cushions on this one. This was from Studio and this was about £100 less. And again, the throw I think was from B&M. It's just the mandala print on it. And yeah, it's just obviously a gorgeous cuddle chair for uh, two people to snuggle up in and watch a film. That's the plan anyway. I've got my lavender again from B&M and my basket from Home Bargains. I mean, you know me, it's all from Home Bargains and B&M. Those gorgeous lanterns down here from B&M. And then just over by the sofa, we've got a little tray table. I've got a book on it. If I sit out here and have a little read of this, I've still not read this and I need to give it a read. And I've got my candle from Home Bargains and then my nice basket. I mean, completely unnecessary and impractical, but I've just really enjoyed like pottering about out here, dressing it all up because I honestly never thought, without sounding really cheesy, that we would have a nice space like this in the garden like i'm just so happy with it i didn't expect it to look this nice and i feel really proud of how we've managed to get it looking so yeah i feel quite emotional <laughs> but yeah this is how it is looking now and i could not be happier if i've forgotten to mention anything that you've got your eye on then do let me know and yeah what a makeover i'm so so pleased so guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you loved it. I am so, so happy with it. I just hope that we get some nice weather now so that we can actually enjoy it and um, sit outside and have film nights and just, oh, I just, I just love it. I love it. I feel like I've got an extra room. So uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And make sure as well, if you are new to Top Cashback to follow that link through below, go and get yourself that £15 bonus for signing up and spending through their site um you will not regret it honestly like i say if you do any online shopping you're going to want to make sure that you are using top cashback and i just want to say thank you to them for sponsoring today's video and thank you for introducing me to your site so that i am now saving money as well i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i would love to see you again for my next one so take care everyone bye <laughs>